Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear, and this is the extended review of the Jetbeam SRA40 flashlight. So here is the Jetbeam SRA40 in the packaging. Some things to note, pre-XML2 LED powered by four AA batteries, 960 lumens on max output, and it'll run for about two hours at that level, 390 meters of beam distance. Actually, quick note on the ANSI FL1 standard. When they say 960 lumens for two hours, that standard is based on uh, that light being at 20% of the original output. So at two hours, it's gonna be at 20% of the 960 lumens. And that's what all the manufacturers are using these days. That's the ANSI F01 standard. So just keep that in mind whenever you see run times, it's gonna be 20% of the output of whatever that, uh, that lumen rating is. 390 meters of beam distance, which is pretty nice for a light this size, especially powered by AA batteries. So let's go ahead and pull the light out, talk about the other stuff that you get in here. User manual, warranty information, always worth a look, always worth a read, uh, always good information in there. Talk about the interface and troubleshooting and all that fun stuff. So definitely take a look at that. Other stuff that you have in here. So here's the power adapter. It says a rechargeable light. So it says it's powered by four AA batteries. So when you have nickel metal hydride batteries in there, that's when it's rechargeable. It's not compatible with lithium ion batteries. And of course, alkalines are not rechargeable. Lanyard in here, pretty nice lanyard. It's adjustable, holds on there really well. We've got three attachment points on the light, so you can attach it all over the place. Spare O-ring, silica gel, don't need it. Uh, slide that stuff to the side. Actually, let's talk about the charging. Let me show you where the charging port is. So you got that charging port, plugs right in there, plug it into your wall or inverter in your truck or wherever else. So here's the light. Pretty cool light, relatively compact. Again, especially considering the output and the beam distance running on AA batteries. So you have two switches on here. You actually got a mount there on the back, so they have some accessories that it'll work with. I think that'll actually work with some tripod mounts as well. Haven't tested that, so uh, <laughs> just uh, you might want to verify that before you try it on a tripod mount. Uh, so Cree XML2 LED, you've got that smooth reflector down in there, relatively large reflector. That's how you're getting that almost 400 meters of beam distance. Two switches right there. Let's go ahead and open it up. We'll put a couple batteries in here, or four batteries. So you can see the operation and everything. So we'll take the tail cap off, and then we're gonna put four nickel metal hydride batteries in here, because again, that's how it's rechargeable and that's how you're gonna get the highest output. So you can kind of see down in there, the springs are gonna be negative end, and then the flat contacts, you put the positive end down. Let's get all the batteries in there. We've got a couple of prongs. You see this thing actually rotates in there. Uh, so you got a couple of prongs that'll line up with those holes right there. Make sure that lines up. Put your tail cap back on, screw it back down, and then light comes on. Let's turn that off. All right, let's talk about the interface on the SRA40. Two buttons on here, you have the power button, you have the mode button. Power button will turn the light on. Mode button will switch between your different outputs. And it does have a mode memory, so if you leave it in an output, turn it off, turn it back on, it's gonna be in that output until you hit that mode switch. You notice there's two blue LEDs there on the mode switch. Uh, when you go first into a mode or you turn the light on, two means that it's at full power, one means that it's at 50% or below, and then it'll flash when you get to real low battery life. Kind of cool, you got a battery indicator built in, a couple little uh, LEDs that are really easy to read and tell what the status is. You also have some flashing modes. So if you press and hold the power button, it'll go into strobe. When it's in strobe, press and hold the mode button and it'll go into SOS. So those are your couple flashing modes. Hit that power button and it'll turn the light back off. Again, it's rechargeable, only on nickel metal hydride batteries. So you have them in there, plug that uh, adapter in there and you'll be good to go. Real quick again on the interface, you got the power switch, tap it to turn the light on. Mode switch will cycle between your different outputs. Press and hold the power button from on or off and it'll go into strobe. Press and hold the mode button when it's in uh, strobe to get into SOS. Okay, that's the interface and the features and everything of the SRA40. Let's go ahead and take this outside and we'll show you how it does outside. All right, we're outside with the Jetbeam SRA40 rechargeable flashlight. Got the big 40 mag light that I always use since pretty much everybody's familiar with this performance. Let's go ahead and try out the mag light first. Tree out there about 25 feet. Dock house down there on the lake is about 100 feet away. Let's go ahead and try out the jet beam. Pretty cool little light. I really like the rechargeable nature of it. Nice form factor. Feels good in the hand. 
and uh, you can see great output on it. And that concentrated beam, if you like concentrated beams, but still very usable spill. So the part where it gets dimmer from that center, bright part in the center, which is called the hot spot. So the transition to the spill is nice. And the spill is still bright enough and very usable amount of light. But uh, cycle through the different outputs just so you can see. Even on the low, makes it out to 25 and even out to 100 feet pretty well. But uh, up close kind of stuff, it's great. Perfect for that. And then when you need it, you have those higher outputs. So we'll zoom in just so you can see how well it's lit up down there. Relatively concentrated beam. This thing has a decent sized reflector. So you're going to get pretty good throw out of it, which you'll see better here in just a minute when uh, we go out to a little bit longer distance. But uh, not too bad for AA batteries. Pretty cool little light. All right, let's go ahead and try out a longer distance to see how it does. Okay, we're outside with the Jetbeam SRA40. Really cool little rechargeable light. Let's go ahead and give it a try and see what it can do. So that boat right there is about 20 feet away. Got some targets out there, the same ones we used in the long distance comparisons. First one is 50 yards, second one is 100 yards. Treats beyond are about 130 yards. You can see all of them are lit up really, really well. Pretty impressive for a pretty compact AA powered light. And you get the rechargeable features, you got the dual switches, really cool little light. I'll show you what the other outputs look like. Kind of cycle through them. See the lower ones. Low ones great for up close kind of stuff. And then of course you get the better battery life. And then when you need it, you have those higher outputs. Pretty impressive little light, especially running off the of double A's. Okay, so there you go. That is the Jetbeam SRA40. If you like it, you can buy it from us at goinggear.com. Any questions or comments, you can reach me in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, please subscribe. We put out a lot of gear and flashlight videos. Thanks for watching.